you can add this plant to your garden it's a perennial evergreen non flowering plant it's triangularis variegata or ficus triangularis it's a slow growing plant the plant has its beauty for its leaves today on this episode we'll show you the present condition of the plant after monsoon please check the previous episode you will get to know the past condition of the plant click the i button on screen every time i nurture the plant i come to know more about this plant the plant is four and a half years with me last year there was a leaf fall after monsoon this year i did not let leaves fall and i succeeded let's know what happens my city has lots of rain during early monsoon the plant was kept under indirect rain then there was profuse leaf growth you can watch that video July August there was very little sunshine and profuse rainfall leaves of many plants started rotting especially succulents babistine spray helped the plants from rotting so friends during and after monsoon spray fungicide powder to triangularis plant and other plants also last 4 months i applied once a month on the plant When you spray babistin or other fungicide try to keep plant dehydrated beforehand the fungicide will work properly Some months before I have cut the stem but no shoot growth the stems of triangularis are hard and dry but leaves are delicate they fall off on simple touch bougainvillea leaves are also delicate they break down on touch but hibiscus leaves are stout anyways let's know some crucial notes on triangularis plant Triangularis need some uh, certain conditions of growth. Always know that variegated plants need over care and proper care. First, let's know the sunlight requirement. Keep plant under filtered sunlight. 3 hours morning sunlight is also okay. Keep plant amongst other plant under good airy space. Second, let's know about the water requirement. Watering a plant always depends upon the weather and climate. Dry weather, less humidity, the plant will need two times showering. On a pleasant weather, shower the plant once. I have found that the plant has wonderful foliage and glow during monsoon. And yes, try to keep soil moist, not dry or wet. Now about soil take good porous fertile soil consisting cow dung compost leaf compost coarse river sand and if you can manage cinder or otherwise you can use uh, charcoal crush and surely make a layer of pebbles at the bottom of pot remember the cow dung compost leaf compost should be completely decomposed friends the leaves are the beauty of plant no two leaves are identical check the leaves on this plant they are healthy both dorsal and ventral side usually the underneath lamina has infestation you to keep plant healthy by spraying neem oil mixed with soap water every after 15 days or once a month chahe infestation ho ya nahi ho We will not wait for the pest attack but we will make a routine spray of neem oil sometimes insecticide is needed for hibiscus and gazenia chrysanthemum but not for triangularis and aglonema like plants now the fifth note the plant needs a lot of humidity for good growth which cannot be provided by us but we can keep plant under large tree or among many plants and mist leaves twice daily Here I have another ficus which is starlight ficus growing pretty well this plant has no issue regarding leaf drop retard growth and no sunlight issue this starlight ficus is kept under half day sun here there are two more small plantlets the plants get splashes of rain not direct rain but it's okay rain and sunlight both available together
Now the sixth condition required that is manure. Do not add any manure, chemical or organic to the plant within one year. Add vermicompost after your plant, adjust to your garden after 10 months. Later after one year, add liquid fertilizer, DAP, magnesium salt and SSP in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1, only 1 spoon mixed to 1 liter water. So friends, if you can maintain ficus triangularis in this manner, there will be no leaf drop or retard growth of plant. But keep in mind, triangularis is a very very slow growth plant. For fast growth, add vermicompost and liquid fertilizer as stated after every 3 months, half mug only. To know more about the detailed leaf drop solution watch this video just click the i button on screen hope i could share a brief note on triangularis variegata lot can be said but we need to make a longer video your feedback will let me do it next time so bye friends subscribe my channel keep watching lots of love from garden hill